Hey everyone, Chills or Beauty here. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new eight piece collection for spring by China Glaze, the Mystic Bloom collection. Not only that, I have also went ahead and finished with a matte and glossy finish side by side so you can see what they look like. So let's get started. First up is gonna be Mystic Dawn. This is a sheer jelly-like polish. However, it does have these iridescent little uh, shimmers running throughout it. It did take me three coats to, well, I didn't even really reach full opacity, let's be honest. However, I do feel like this is really nice. This is like this beautiful, delicate look to it. And honestly, I would say you could even use this for like negative space, but just kind of like, you know, to give it a little oomph. So I see why they put it in here, but this is very, very, very sheer. But as you can see, three coats. And then on the left, I did matte. And then on the right, I did the glossy finish. So next we have Instant Sparks, and I love the idea or the theme that they were going with this. Now this is more of a light peachy tone. Now as for application wise, I didn't have any problems. I didn't need three coats to reach full opacity. Now the cool thing about this polish is that, that it does have like these silver little flecks in it, but then there's also these tiny, and I mean tiny, holographic glitters in there. Now I mainly saw them only in like sunlight, but otherwise I think this was super cute. I really enjoyed this polish. Next we have Pretty as a Petal and this is a frosty pink polish that has a matte finish. Now I thought this was really really pretty especially with a glossy top coat on there. However I do have to say the consistency or the formulation of this is very thick. So I applied some nail polish thinner to my bottle and then it kind of helped out you know making it a little bit looser, I should say. So just make sure that like when you're working with this polish that you wanna make sure that you don't put too much on the brush and not, you know, like too little. Unfortunately, it's one of those finicky polishes. So next is gonna be Fairy Tale Bliss. This is the last one of the pinks, and I gotta say, this is my favorite. This one is a beautiful corally pink jelly that has these shimmers that look like they're kind of golden, but then at the other times they look like they're pink, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It did take me three coats to reach opacity, but it, that's totally fine. It does look nice matte, however, I have to say, I prefer this one definitely in glossy, and not only that, when it dries down, it dries down shiny too. Next is Blumaphoria. Now this is a beautiful light lavender iridescent polish that has like these hues of like green and gold. And when you move your hands at like different angles, it's just so, so beautiful. It did take me three coats to reach full opacity. I do have a bit of a strong nail line, so just please be aware of that. But it did cover it up in three, so thank goodness for that. But this one is definitely one of my favorites for sure. Now the second purple in this collection is called Bluminescence, which I find hilarious because these names are just, they're killing me. But I have to say this was definitely one of my top favorites. It did take me two coats to reach full opacity. This is a purple matte polish that actually has like these little blue flecks that are inside of the polish. And when you move your hand at different angles, it looks beautiful, especially with a glossy finish. So I highly recommend getting this one. So next we have Secret Redens Blue. Now this is a beautiful blue, flaky, iridescent shimmer jelly polish. And I gotta say, this was so stinking beautiful. It's one of my top favorites. If you have an idea, I'm loving the jellies in this collection for sure. But yes, this one is absolutely stunning. It had a smooth application, no issues. It did take three coats, but that's okay. And with a glossy top coat, I was literally head over heels for this polish and definitely one of my favorites. And lastly, it's going to be Planted and Enchanted. This is a beautiful green shimmer polish that even looks like it has a drop of blue in there to kind of give it that almost subtle teal effect. It is still mainly green. However, it did take me three coats to reach full opacity. But when applying this polish, make sure that you're careful not to over manipulate the polish because you can end up with bald patches or even brush strokes. Oh, 
list down below where you can pick up these polishes ahead of time before they land in major retailers. Not only that, you can get them for a discounted price, but I am curious. Did you like this collection even though there was not a cream in it? I personally enjoyed this collection because it reminds me of indie polishes. However, I know not everybody is a fan, but I am curious, what was your favorite polish? Let me know in the comments section down below. I love chatting with all of you and thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. I have some playlists you can check at the end of the video. Until then, take care and stay chilly.